Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. So in this video, we will learn how to create HTML template email in Gmail. So here in Pavli Connect, in the action window of Gmail, we have two different options to send email, either as a plain text or either in HTML format. So in plain text, the, the email is sent as it is as we type in the content section of that action step. But if you want to create an HTML template of your email and send that according to it, now then how you can do this? I will tell you in this video. So let's begin with our process. So as you can see, here we are on the public connect dashboard. And as you all know, to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabli.com slash connect. And after reaching on the landing page of Pabli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So after reaching our dashboard, we have to create a workflow. So click on create workflow and give your workflow a name. For example, I'll name this workflow as emails in HTML template. emails in HTML template. You can give basically any name if you want and click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows as you all know, triggers and actions, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So you can basically create any workflow of your choice and add the good Gmail action window over here. So in your trigger application, there can be any application of your choice which are available in Public Connect. So basically more than 800 applications we have. So any application you can choose in the trigger event from where you are getting the details or data. And then using the action step of Gmail, you can send emails from your Gmail account. So just for an example, I'll take a Google Sheet as a trigger event. So here I have created a sheet just for an example guys, just for a dummy example, where I have taken an example of a school where we have the name of the student, email address, their class and their percentage. And we will be sending results on email, their percentage and their details on email that what are their results and that too in HTML template format. So first we have to capture the trigger application, which is Google Sheets, the data which we are entering Google Sheet inside Public Connect. For that here in Public Connect, we will come to trigger window and select Google Sheets. Then in trigger event, select new or updated spreadsheet and then we receive a webhook URL over here. So you can follow the help text given below that how you can use this webhook URL to make the connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. So I won't dive deeper into the connection process of Google Sheet because that's not our top today's topic. So just copy this webhook URL from here, go to Google Sheets, extension and here you have to install an add-on named as Pabli Connect webhooks. So I have already installed. You can go to add-ons and get new add-ons section to open Google Workspace Marketplace and install that add-on. And after that, you can see a Pabli Connect webhook, this add-on over here. Just hover on it, click on initial setup. After that, we have to paste the webhook URL over here and select the trigger column. So in webhook URL, we have to paste the very same webhook URL which we have received from Pabli Connect. Paste it over here. And here in trigger column, we have to select the trigger column, basically the last data entry column of our spreadsheet. So for example, in the background, you can see that column D is the last data entry column where my data exists. So column D will be my trigger column and click on send test. So as we click on send test, we have a response which says test data sent successfully. So data of the very first row or so basically the second row after the headers is sent to Public Connect using this webhook URL from Google Sheets. So let's click on submit and then let's go to Public Connect and find that where these details, the name of the student where is Devin Parker, this is the email, this is the class and this is the percentage. Whether we have received this very same data in Google uh, in our Public Connect account from Google Sheet or not. So we'll go to Public Connect. And yes, we can see that here in response received, we have the details of Google Sheet over here. So this is the very same name, same email address on which we will be sending email, same class and same percentage. So basically, we have received the data inside Public Connect from our trigger application or some kind of application. In this video, we have selected Google Sheet. So after receiving the data, we want to send the, an email on this very same email address. For that, we'll come to our action window and here we want to send emails from Gmail. So in search app, we'll search for Gmail. Gmail it is. 
Then in action event, we will select send email. Click on connect. Now here we have to connect our Gmail account from which account that we want to send the emails. So click on add new connection and click on connect with Gmail. Select your Gmail account from which account you want to send emails. So I want to send emails from this account. So I will select this. Scroll down and click on continue. Now you can see that our Gmail account is successfully connected with Pavli Connect. We will just scroll down and see recipient email address a field name recipient email address. Here we have to enter the email address of the person to whom we are sending email. So we have received the email address of the student to whom we are sending email from Google Sheets. So we have to basically map this very same email address over here. Just click on this. And from the drop down below from Google Sheet responses, select the response from email. And this is very simple process of mapping that the response which we have received from Google Sheet is now successfully mapped in this Google Gmail action window. After that, we can ignore the CC and BCC fields and then it is asking us for sender name. So I want to show the sender name as Ashi Rai. So this will be your sender name by what name the emails will be sent. Email subject. So for example, I'll name the subject of a line of the email as test results test results then we can ignore the reply to and now it comes a very important field so here in email content type we have two options so it is either a plain or html type body type or email content type is html so here we will select html so you all must be knowing that how to send a plain email but in this video i'll show you how to send email via html after selecting html it is asking us email content and the help text below it says enter the email content you can create html content from here so basically here we have to actually enter or create the entire body of the email which we want to send and if we want to send the email in html format we can click here and it will redirect us to a page where we can create the html content of the email content body so just click on this field and it will take us to this html editor page and at this very same page, we just have to click here, select this all and clear it. And after that, on the left side, we have to basically draft the email which we want to send. And on the right side over here, we will send uh, see that very same email in the HTML format. So let's try. So I want my email to start with hello. And after hello, I want to add the name of the person. So we will do this in public connect. But for now, hello, enter comma, test results. for class and after this and after the test result for class i want to enter the name of the class which we have entered in a google sheet in front of that particular student but we will add or map all of this data in public connect let's drop the body of our email first over here test result for class for example 11th is been announced and you have scored this many percentage and after scored I want to add the percent which the student has scored congratulations congratulations thank you and regards okay so basically this is the body of the email address which I want to send and here after creating the complete body in this section in this HTML part you can see this very same email in HTML language so just select this and copy this email in html format go back to public connect and paste this over here in email content so now you can see we have the complete email body in html format now here in this email uh, we want to add some text or some data from google sheet like from hello after hello we wanted to add the name of the student so we will just click here from uh, after hello and from the drop down below we will map the details so we can see all the responses which we have received from google sheet over here and out of all these responses we will map the name of the student after hello then here in the sentence which says test result for class here we wanted to add the class in which the student is studying so this was the class response for class we will map it, map it is been announced and you have scored and here we have to enter the percentage for this very same student so we will map the percentage which they have scored okay so this is the just a short and basic example on how you can create an html email um, 
on how you can create the uh, email in HTML language. You just have to click on this help text link given over here and then draft your email or create your email body over here. And in, on the right side here, you will see the HTML format of that very same text, very same email. Just copy it and paste it over here in Public Connect and map all the required data. After uh, entering the email content, it is asking us file name and attachment. So I am not attaching any kind of file over here. So we can ignore this and just click on save and send test request. Now after clicking on save and send test request, we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the email is sent on this very same email address, which we have entered in Google Sheets. So let's check the Gmail account of this email address. We'll go to a new tab. I have already logged into this very same account. So let's switch account and go to Gmail. And yes, guys, we can see that on this very same email address, which we have added in our Google Sheet, an email is received. And the sender's name is Ashirai, which we have added in Pabli Connect over here in sender's name field, as you can see over here. And we, when we will open this email, we will find that the email, the body of the email is on the very same format for which we have created the HTML format. So this was the email and we have created the, uh, this very same email or changed this very same email in HTML language. And we just copied it and pasted it over here. And after that, we can see that when we send the email, the email is sent in very same format. So we have the same name of the student, which was entered in Google Sheet, same class and same percentage as well. So guys, in this very short video, I told you that how we can send HTML template emails in Gmail by using Public Connect. So this was the complete process on how to do this. So here, as I told you, we have selected Google Sheets as a trigger application. But basically, you can choose any application of your choice in the trigger window and create the complete workflow of your choice and add the Gmail st step according to your use case. And just in Gmail step, we have to select HTML in this email content type and enter the email content in HTML format by clicking on this link and redirecting to this page. And then after pasting the HTML format of the email, the email is successfully sent. We have also checked that. So guys, not just these applications, you can basically connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pabli.com and you can check Public Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pabli. Thank you. Have a nice day.